Waiting, waiting, waiting. We don't know what to do. Maybe we go out. Maybe we go in. Maybe we cannot go. It's a pity. And also, I'm, I would like to, to race in a normal condition with wet, but normal condition because I would like to try the model GP bike on rain. But at the moment, seems a bit, uh, a bit too much. Let's say. Fabio, I imagine the team have and Ducati have so much experience in the wet. They just put a setting that they tell you will work. Do you have any input on how you want the setting, or you just trust them and go ride it? Well, for sure, we start from uh, our base setup of the dry, and we do the all the um, uh, modifying mod modifying for the for the wet. But uh, honestly, I don't have any feedback. So, uh, also, then say, said to me, uh, go out and enjoy because we, we don't know anything. So also for me, it will be the, my first time and uh, yeah, I'm waiting. Fabio, thank you for your time. Good luck this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Scenes you didn't expect to see at 3.15 on race day Sunday at the Indonesian Grand Prix. The uh, entire pit lane is... Uh, giving this lady an audience here. Well, to be honest, let's hope this works. Apparently, this is a, a local rain ritual. Desperate Try times and all that. Banish away these clouds. Let's hope this lady's efforts pay off because we all want to see a MotoGP race take place here in Indonesia. Well, if the rain stops, we do get a race. She should get the 25 points, quite a frankly. Yeah, absolutely. She got a special award at the end of the season <laughs> from the FIM and from Dorna. Let's keep our fingers crossed that uh, we are going to get to the race that we've all come here for.